Hey everyone, Dollistic here, and uh, sorry for the weird lighting today, I don't have any natural light <laughs> coming in today because it is pouring rain, but I thought that was apropos for, you know, a sea monster. Anyway, so I am here with my third Monster Ball review from Monster High, and today we are doing Laguna Blue. She is so sweet. I think she is regarded as the least liked of Monster Ball. But I think she is adorable. I see I see her scaritage as inspiration for everything she's wearing. I think she looks incredible. And she's honestly just a fun doll. The color choices are a little off in some places, but we'll get into that later in the review. So, yeah, here we have Laguna Blue from Monster Ball. Just like the other two Monster Ball dolls, they do have special packaging for this line, where you can see that it's got a, like... Disco ball molded into the plastic for this, like, blister packaging. And then Monster High and Monster Ball in gold. And, like, the skullette has become a disco ball. That's so fun. And then these, like, fun, like, spider webs and stars. It's great. Everything looks great. And then on the back, you, of course, have the artwork of Monster Ball with all of the ghouls looking fabulous. And this gorge, full-body art of Laguna. I love that we're getting <laughs> that because I think these designs are so fun. And then for her little read-up, you can see her scare accessories are a shieldtastic purse and lip gloss. Her fave ballroom snack is Tidal Wave Punch. Is that a snack? That's a drink. And then her monster photo prop is an octopus tentacle mask. Oh, don't fall, girl. It is giving very much like Davy Jones. <laughs> but anyway, that is everything for her packaging. Oh, and then this artwork of Cleo with the bangs. We lost. Does she have bangs back here? She does. Okay. All right. Well, that is her packaging. It's pretty simple, just like the other two Monster Ball ghouls. Now let's get her out. I'm gonna hope. Uh, nope. I see tape. I already see tape. It's wild to me that they make this packaging, like, they make it pretty easy for kids to open themselves if it weren't for the tape. Like, you could... For a lot of the dolls, you could just give them to your kid and let them open it themselves, and it's like a safe, fine thing because they only have to pull out these plastic tabs. They aren't sharp. They aren't, like, pokey. They won't mess with you. But when they do the tape, then, of course, you as the parent do have to come in and help them. But yeah. See, a kid can do that, no problem. <laughs> oh, she's so good. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I did not get a stand to put her on before I came over here. I'm a great reviewer. <laughs> That's okay. I will simply go borrow a stand from someone. Okay. And then while some of her hair, I love this hair. She looks like she has so much of it. And it's such a fun, like, texture and style. I'm very excited to, like, get it washed. Okay. And I think it's just the ones in our heads, so. Oh. All right, and here is Miss Laguna, fresh out of the packaging. I borrowed a Rainbow High stand. They, of course, do not come with stands, which is disappointing, but <laughs> that's okay. So, let's get right into her. And like we always do, we're going to get a nice, good close-up. The lighting is wild. It's really throwing me off today. Okay, so starting with her hair, like always, she does... She has the G3 Laguna blend. Oh, we've got some messiness right there. Ooh-wee. Okay. It's, it, she's going to get washed anyway, so I'll fix that. But she has the G3 Laguna blend hair, where it's this nice, just yellow blonde, a light blue color... And then this really pretty pastel purple. She doesn't seem to have any pink this time, which is totally okay. I don't think it was necessary, but it's really gorgeous. And it is pulled almost into a, like, swoopy bang across her face and into a low side pony. It's very pretty. And it is curled. It does have tinsel in a, like, blue-green color. Um, not a fan of tinsel in the hair, but that's okay. I do like the texture that it's in. Once it's washed and conditioned, it'll look a lot better than the sort of rat's nest it's giving right now. But it's very beautiful. You can tell they, like, they had a full, they had a full view of what they were doing with this doll. I think she's really great. 
and thankfully it is Saran. Cleo was sort of the exception to this, but I would expect Deluxe Dolls to only ever have the Saran. I mean, I would prefer Nylon because I think Nylon is superior to Saran, but I'm glad it's Saran. The tinsel, I hate it, but that's okay. And she also has this big, beautiful tropical flower in her hair that is purple with a red interior. And it's kind of fun. It has like a pearl in the center, or several pearls, and it has these octopus tentacles coming out. It's so fun. Are there? Ooh, and the sculpt is really nice. It just clips right onto her ponytail. Okay, and for her makeup, ooh, I love the, the scales that they did. So I can't really pull this up too much. It's very tight. But you can see that they gave her blue and green scales. I think they work very nicely for this outfit. I kind of hope they stick with that moving forward. She has those thick blue eyebrows and then pink and blue eyeshadow with a little bit of purple. And then, of course, her brown eyes and blue freckles. She also has some, like, dots above her eyes. They're pretty cool. They add a very, like, aquatic effect to her face. And for her lips, she pretty much has the exact same lips as Claudine from Monster Ball, where the lipstick is pink and she has this purple lip liner on the outside. Although hers is much thicker, I would say. And honestly, looks like it should be blended, <laughs> but it isn't. It also is misprinted a little bit, so it's, like, thicker on the left, but that's okay. Oh, I just noticed that her under eye makeup gives the illusion of webbing. Like, you see how her eye... You see how her lower lashes are sort of drawn, like the, um, like the structure of a fin, and then that eyeshadow kind of makes it look webbed? That's very cool. I don't know if that was intentional or if it just happened, but it's very neat. And for her earrings, it's kind of hard to see this one, but they're the same on both sides. It is a purple... I think it's just meant to be an octopus, or it could just be intended to be tentacles, but we're gonna go with octopus because I think it's cute. It's so fun, and she has a octopus tentacle choker. It's cool. I love them really going hard on the like the sea monster of it all for Laguna this generation. It's so fun. All right, and then for her outfit, she has on this amazing dress. I th I was gonna say, is it flamenco inspired? But I don't think that's I don't think that's accurate. So I'm not gonna say that. Um, but it is a really cool asymmetrical dress. Oh, she's a little. She's actually a little lopsided. She does have the chest joint, so it's kind of making it difficult to get her perfectly up straight. But you can see it is asymmetrical on top and bottom. It's got these fun ruffles uh, at the neck and at the bottom of the dress. Made out of this deep fuchsia tool with metallic fuchsia foil printing that looks like anemone. That look like coral. It's so cool. Like the effect is really neat. And it's the same on both. It's so cool. And she does have some black tool up here at the top as well. It's cool. And it looks like there's a polka dot design on it. And the actual body of the dress is is an ombre purple to light blue fabric with fishtails printed on. And it has a, like, shine to it. It's really interesting. I'd be concerned about maybe it rubbing over time. But honestly, I think it's okay. I don't know. I think it should be fine. Like, it doesn't feel like it would come off. But material like that kind of worries me. You know? It's sort of like that metallic fabric that they use sometimes, where the metallic part is printed on and it, over time it just like rubs off. I have some old Barbies that have that. And she does have a bracelet on. It is a pearl bracelet made out of these, I don't know what color you would say, periwinkle? It's like a periwinkle. It's a string of big pearls and then a string of small ones. It's very neat. And it doesn't have an opening, so to get it off you will have to take her hand off. But that's okay because they do have the detachable hands. And, oh my god, I love her arms this generation. I love that the scales and fins are molded right into it. It looks so cool. I bet with some body blushing, that would look so good. Like, some highlighting, like, deepening the shadows between the scales and then, like, highlighting the high points would really bring out that sculpting. That would be so cool. I bet, I'm sure there's customizers that have done that. <laughs> and for her shoes, they are really cool. So they are also nautical inspired, as you can see. They have coral for the heels. I love them. And then the straps for the ankle and the heel are both like boat rope. <laughs> that really, really thick boat rope. And I'm not really sure what the actual sole of the shoe is mimicking. It's probably like rock or maybe even like driftwood or something. But they're very cool. They are cast in a hot pink color. 
and both have these giant tropical flowers to match the one in her hair. These don't have the like deep fuchsia color on the inside, but they do have the pearls and they look really cool. They're on the ankles. This one has a bit of warping for some reason from the packaging. Well, of course it, oh, okay. Well, you can see it better from the front now. Um, it like wants to pull fo focus. It like wants to pull forward here and it makes it look a little funky. Um, I think I should be able to put that in some hot water and it'll go back into shape and stay that way. Or I might just sew it together in the back on these back two pieces. I've done that with some doll shoes before. <laughs> like if they don't want to stay closed. <laughs> All right. And that's everything that she is wearing straight out of the box. Now let's get into her extra accessories because she has a ton of them. So first up, we have her shell purse. It is just a nice big clam shell with these sort of spider webby designs on them and a and a spiked handle and it does open. Very cute. The portrait of her with her beasties at the monster ball, although Draculaura is not in it. I love that like, I think Cleo came with one with all of the ghouls and then Claudine and Laguna have both come with ones that they're like missing some of them. That's so interesting. Did they piss each other off? <laughs> Cause like, why doesn't Laguna have Draculaura in her picture? Her tentacle mask. This is very cool. Like I said earlier, it's giving very Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. And it's really cool. You can see it has a a place for her, for her hand and for her thumb. At least that's what I think it is. So ideally she'd be able to hold it better. Um, I don't like that this top part is like a mustache. <laughs> because it's very much giving like ugh, the mustache trend from probably like 10 years ago now. Um, I was in mid middle school, high school, whatever, when that was going around. So it was ravaging my school. It was a nightmare. I th It was cringe at the time. And it's super cringe now. But that's, that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> so maybe I'll cut off the mustache <laughs> and just keep that part, if possible. Nah, I probably won't do that. It's like, it is silly. I'll give it that. I like a silly prop. Her lip gloss, it has a lot of really cool molded details. You can see the skelet up there, and then a spiderweb design all over the top and the bottle, and the sort of like goo drippy, and it does open. Although it, oh, get back in there. It isn't the color she's wearing. <laughs> That's always weird to me when they don't give them a color that they're wearing. I, it, I don't know. Maybe even making it clear, I don't know. She comes with two identical cups for the punch, they are goblets. They've got a really cool design, sort of like scalloped with spider webs all over and then these like goo drips out of the side. It's kind of gross, but kind of fun. And now what is, in my opinion, the best accessory she comes with, her punch bowl. This is so funny. I love it so much. It is a giant scalloped purple punch bowl with spider web designs all over these little tentacles holding it at the base and then all of this blue shiny punch that's like bubbling it has fish skeletons and kelp oh my god of course laguna would make this uh it's so fun i love this punch bowl and it comes with a ladle in the same purple with like a scale design on it it's kind of cool i love that like this that's so i love it <laughs> i love that thing all right, and that is everything that Monster Ball Laguna comes with. I think she is absolutely gorgeous. I love her makeup. I love her accessories, kind of minus this. But she is bringing the fun. She is definitely going to be dancing a lot in this outfit. That's what she wore it for. She wanted to get a groove on. And she's, is she Honduran now? I'm trying to remember what country she comes from. I think it's Honduras. Is that right? Ooh, I don't want to, I don't want to get it wrong though. So don't, don't take my word for that. I just, I don't quite remember what country she's from in the show. I think it's Honduras. I think it's like the trop, or like the beachy part of Honduras. If it even has a beachy part, I don't know. I'm so bad at geography. Don't, don't, don't test me, please. I don't, I don't know where things are or what things are. I know dolls. Well, barely. Monster Ball does retail for $29.99 call it what it is, it's $30. They retail for $30. I have not paid full price for any of my ghouls so far, thankfully. I actually got her on a Black Friday deal for $15 at Target, and I was super happy. Like, 
I'm not a completionist when it comes to doll brands, especially, mostly because, like, I mean, there's always flops that doll brands put out, but Monster Ball is one of the lines that, like, I really need, I really want all of them. I almost took home Dracula and Laguna, but <laughs> I was with my sister and she wanted Cleo, so we ended up <laughs> each getting one. And yeah, but I'm one step closer to completing my Monster Ball line. And I'm super happy. I've been very impressed by all of them so far. Laguna is no exception. I love her. She's gorge. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much everything I have to say. Uh, let me know down below what you think of her. Like, do you plan on getting her? Do you like Monster Ball as the line? Let me know, like, is she the least liked? Because that's kind of the vibe that I get from the doll community. But obviously, I'm not in every corner of the doll community. So I may be wrong. I may just be, I may just have bias from my small part of it. But yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, do none of them. Just happy you're interacting with my content at all. But you know, if you do, it helps me out. And why wouldn't you want to do that? Because if you do, we get to go to the Monster Ball together and have fun and dance and drink whatever this punch is. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I put out new videos every Monday and Friday for the most part. So I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a great day. Bye.